After a long day installing air conditioners, Yanning Tang is still going. He's thankful for the work and to his employer, but he wants to do more. If I say I'm satisfied with my present job, I'm lying. Because you know I'm an engineer. Before coming to Australia, he designed and managed big engineering projects in China with more than 100 workers. None of that made any difference when he applied for similar jobs here. I find nobody care about that. I don't know why. A new report by Engineers Australia reveals qualified migrants like Yanning Tang face significant barriers to finding a job. Nearly half are unemployed. That's despite demand for engineers soaring as companies scramble to keep up with huge post-COVID infrastructure spending. You sort of got this perfect confluence of big projects coming online, almost double the demand for engineers, and yet we've got this pool of engineers who are ready to work and can't find work. The report finds the biggest barrier is something engineers like Andrea Gonzalez are all too familiar with, lack of local experience. After coming from Colombia, it took three engineering degrees and almost eight years to secure a full-time job matched to her skills. I'm qualified, I study, I, I found a passion, I want to work, but they don't give me the opportunity. Advocates say migrants also face unconscious bias about everything from their accents to where they're from. Despite that, Yanning Tang isn't giving up. He's determined to make it as an engineer here. Norman Hermont, ABC News.